Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at using an MPK lawn treatment. So first step, we're just going to have a look at the lawn, see how bad it is, which is pretty bad. Next step, we're going to be looking at doing a quick mow, just to um, let the treatment penetrate the roots more and not just sit on top of the soil and sort of evaporate there. So just give it a quick mow in a medium setting, so there is still some shade for the roots where there is grass. Um, in the very few spots where there is grass actually. Next I tried using a Saxon aerating tool which is a rolling tool for it would be easier to use but unfortunately one of the nuts kept falling off, it just been put together um, it, they should have been reverse fretted or something but unfortunately the nut fell off about three times, it didn't look like it was up to the job of puncturing uh, such grass with thick roots so I switched over to aerating sandals looking at the price of aerating sandals versus Loctite I went with this option as it just means that it's definitely going to puncture the lawn with my big old 90 kilo frame and a thick boy on top. It's uh, definitely going to be puncturing that lawn uh, and keeping it nice and juicy. <laughs> uh, and all puncturing a lawn does is just uh, gives the water and any sort of treatment you give it more of a chance to soak through to the roots. Uh, here's some video and some footage of the uh, treatment itself. It's MPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. Um, so we're going to go through and uh, water the lawn with that after we spread it around with a lawn spreader. Uh, there are some stats there, but it mainly consists of nitrogen, like it's a huge percent compared to everything else. Uh, so I'm using a Saxon lawn spreader again. Not sponsored anyway, it's just the cheapest brand, so that's why I use it. Uh, I struggle a little bit with such a small amount of um, lawn food. I think it wants to be filled up to the top, but uh, my, lawn, my lawn only requires about two cups. Uh, so I think you know it just runs out pretty quickly um, but I wanted to make sure to use a spreader so it was spread evenly whereas if I spread it by hand I know that it just would have been uh, in big clumps and then we just go through and we soak in along with the hose uh, and yeah essentially I go over a few times off camera as well and I did a bit of aerating off camera to make sure that it was all properly done uh, really want to soak that in for about or 10-15 minutes on a lawn this size but on a real lawn probably a lot longer <laughs> probably want a um, sprinkler system of some kind set up but um, yeah I just went through uh, probably about 10-15-20 minutes